in Tampa. Acting U.S. Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan said on Thursday, experienced derbies from an Indian anti-satellite weapon test to eventually burn up in atmosphere, instead of creating a lasting derbies feel that could threaten other satellites. When asked about the comments by India's top defense scientists that the derbies would burn up in 45 days, Sarahan said he could not confirm any particular time frame. But in terms of threats to other objects, that's consistent with what I have heard, that it will burn up in atmosphere, said Sanahan to the reporters who were traveling with him on his way to Florida. The comments came a day after India said it used an indigenous developed ballistic missile interceptor to destroy one of its own satellites at a height of 300 kilometers in a test aimed at boosting its defense in space. In 2007, China destroyed a satellite in a polar orbit, creating a largest orbital derby's cloud in history, with more than 3,000 objects according to the Secure World Foundation. Since impact altitude exceeds 800 km or the 500 miles, many of the resulting scraps stayed in orbit. Asked whether he believed India, with a test at a lower altitude had avoided China-like scenarios. Shanahan said, that's my understanding. The Pentagon said on Wednesday, the US military strategic command was tracking more than 250 pieces of derbies from India's missile test and would issue close approach notification as required until the derbies enters the Earth atmosphere. Lieutenant General David Thompson, a vice commander of US Air Force Space Command, said on Wednesday that the Indian test had hit the target vehicle. A US official speaking on the condition of anonymity said on Thursday that two, no new threats had risen from the derbies yet. The official added that there was no information so far to cast doubt on the claims made by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Critics say such technology known to be processed or possessed only by United States, Russia and China raises the prospects of an armed race in outer space, besides posing a hazard by creating a cloud of fragments that could persist for years. Sanayan said the Indian test was a reminder about how space was becoming increasingly contested and underscored the necessity of creating a space command, a stepping stone toward President Donald Trump's goal of creating a space force. It really speaks to why we need to stand up space command. Think about the importance now of rules of engagement, the authorities, the tactics, techniques and procedures, said Sanahan. On Monday of 26 February, Indian Air Force entered into Pakistan. The Indian Air Force, with tall jets of Mirage 2000, has entered into Pakistan to bomb a terrorist camp on Balakot. While the Indian Air Force jets entered and dropped bombs into the place of Balakot, Pakistani Air Force jets of F-16 had a dogfight with Indian Air Force. Indian Air Force, however, returned safely to India. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan warned and said Pakistan will retaliate for India's intrusion into Pakistan. Like he said, on Tuesday, 27th of February 2019, on morning, Pakistan Air Force F-16 jets launched its attack on an empty ground on Indian side. While India was already was in full alert around the country, launched its attack on Pakistan Air Force jets near Indian-Pakistan border in Kashmir. Indian again entered into Pakistan airspace and the dogfight continued as one of India's jets were shot down and one of its pilots were captured by the Pakistani army. India has confirmed it is missing one of its pilots and one of its MAG-20 men was destroyed on the dogfight that morning. Pakistan has said they have shot down two of its jets and captured two of its pilots, but only one of the pilots was shown alive and held in its videos. Pakistani military spokesperson Major General Asif Ghafoor said there is only one pilot under Pakistan Army's custody. The Wing Command Abhinandan is being treated as norms of the military ethics. As the tensions between the two countries is accelerating towards war, US, Russia, UK and China are shown support to India and condemn the Pakistan to stop feeding its country-based terrorists. 
东方赞赏印度，还有巴基斯坦的朋友们，都表示愿意保持克制，避免局势进一步升级。Well, the press secretary of the Russian president Dmitry Peskov told Russia is concerned about the aggressive actions of their relations between India and Pakistan, and calls on both sides to show restraint. While Pakistani has called for diplomacy to calm down the situation through dialogue, Pakistani PM Imran Khan has offered as a peace to release the arrested pilot or the captured pilot of Indian Air Force by tomorrow or March 1. Well, India's external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj visited China for the RAC annual meeting with China and Russia. She detailed and warned the Pakistan for its acting and feeding ground for terror. India and Pakistan have banned each other's airspace not to use for commercial services. In India, all the borders are in alert, including the Bangladeshi borders, and most of its airports are closed without further notice in North India. This is the first intrusion and attack inside Pakistan soil by Indian armed forces after 1971 in the Indo-Pak war. All the opposition parties have given their statement by standing with their countries on crisis in India, but warning this type of national security crisis should not be used by the Indian PM Mr Modi for his election dreams for winning, as Mr Modi is already he is doing and using it for the. Upcoming general elections. Many of the army personnel and retired military personnel have said it seems that the governing party of India and the PM Modi is using security and surgical strikes and national security crisis as of for his election dreams of winning. There was too much sort of hype of, uh, over it. Uh, the military operation uh, was important. The strike was important. Uh, it had a strategic intent and purpose, and we had to do it. Now, how and how much it should have been politicized, whether it was right or wrong, is something I think you should ask the politicians. Well, the Indian Navy has said the Navy is ready on its surface, sea, and air to prevent and defeat any misadventure by the Pakistan. As U.S. President Donald Trump was in Hanoi in Vietnam meeting Kim Jong Un of Korea, he said on his press conference that reasonably attractive news from India and Pakistan might be coming. We have been involved in trying to help them, that is India and Pakistan, to stop, and we have some reasonably decent news. I think hopefully that the tension could be coming to an end. It has been going on for a long time. And on the other side, Prime Minister Imran Khan of Pakistan has said, "In our desire of peace, I announced that, and as of the first step to the open negotiations, Pakistan will release the Indian Air Force officer in our custody by tomorrow, that is March 1st of 2019," said Imran Khan on his parliamentary speech. So, what do you think of India and Pakistan having a dogfight in the Indian and the Pakistan Air Force? Do you think India and Pakistan might go far, or this might be a misunderstanding between both the countries, and they might be ready to talk to each other and de-escalate what's going on? India's ascent on the global stage has climbed another victory. After its stock market overtook Germany to become the seventh largest in the world, India edged past the equity market of Europe's largest economy for the first time in seven years, according to a data compiled by the Bloomberg. That means after UK leaves the European Union in the March, the bloc would have only one country, France, among the seven biggest markets. The move reflects India's positive return. This year, as the company's reliance on domestic demand enabled them to avoid the meltdown in other emerging markets spurred by the Federal Reserve tightening and a trade war between the U.S. and China, it also highlights the challenges facing the European Union, including its future relationship with the U.K., its standoff with the Italy, or the budget allocations and separatist clashes in the Spain. Well, the MSCI Emerging Markets Index is heading for a 17% decline this year, 
India's benchmark S&P BSE Sensex is up 5% after seesawing throughout the year amid the oil price volatility. The year dominated by the trade protectionism and punitive tariff by the Donald Trump's President of the United States Administration on China, it's little bit wonder that investors have turned cautious over countries with heavy dependence on the exports. Germany derives more than 38% of its gross domestic product from exports based on 2017 data from the World Bank. The corresponding ratio for India is only 11% meaning much of the stock market opportunity in the country comes from the domestic consumer stories. Reliance on the local demand and entrepreneurship also puts India ahead in growth sweet stakes. The South Asian nation is projected to grow 7.4% this year and 7.3% in 2019 as a far cry from German growth of 1.6% for each year. While 7.5% and the 7.3% coming in next year is basically less than before and before decades and before 2 to 3 years while Modi became the Prime Minister of India. So what do you think of India's growth is much higher than other countries but it's basically lower than its India's original GDP when Prime Minister Modi took over the government from other Congress party. Please give a thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching this is WZ daily think big think different bye